Hi, I'm Stasia Alessio, aka Raw Boss. So we asked Dr. Aris Latam, what are nightshade vegetables and are they good for us? Well, this is what he said. Nightshade vegetables. You heard me use the word a lot long ago, I said vegetable fruit. Mm. These are fruits. They contain seeds. They're fruit botanically, but they're not classified as fruit nutritionally because they don't have the high concentration of sugar as the nutritional fruit like mango and papa and those things. So they're known as vegetable fruit better than nightshade. Nightshade, then it's, you, you, like, it's like bringing out a curse, it's mm. curse business. It's called about duppy, duppy sauce. We look at Noni and we call it duppy sauce. A negative connotation right there, but Noni right now, mm. it rocks. <laughs> Them so-called nightshades, they are vegetable fruits. These are neutral fruits. They don't have any high concentration of sugar. All fruit nutritionally are rich in sugar. They don't have any fat in them. No concentration of fat. Fatty foods are protein foods. And they don't have any starch. So they're not complicated carbohydrates like potatoes and yams and those things. So, the thing is, most of these so-called nightshades, we cook them. We cook them. They're fruits. And if you know anything about food science, anytime you cook any fruit, that most fruits are alkaline. 95% of all fruits are alkaline. Even the tomato, it may be acid tasting, but it's not acid forming unless you cook it. Anytime you cook a fruit, it becomes acid forming. So, and especially the green pepper. Most of when you, when you talk about sweet pepper or bed pepper, most of y'all would have the green pepper. Look, my pepper them have to be ripe. Yellow, orange, purple, lime green. <laughs> yes. Green pepper is like trying to eat a green mango. You pour some salt on it, some vinegar and all them things to kind of do a certain thing to it. It's an unripened fruit. So yes, that's going to give you a problem as a so-called nightshade, and then you cook it even worse. It's because they become acid. They become acid forming because of the cooking. So yam them sun fire. So we have a vegetable fruit salad. Okay. Okay, so, so we can mix all of them thing and even okra. You cook the okra and slime up on you. You just eat it live, you don't see the slime that represents the acid that you have released. So just to, just to add, somebody said, I suffer from acid reflux and have been told to avoid tomatoes. But maybe what you said a while ago is the reason. Yeah, well, the tomato is acid forming, but the acid reflux you're suffering from is most than likely from the starch that you've been eating. The starch is what produces the heavy, heavy acid. That's why you get mucus discharge or a so-called cold, you know. I hope that information was helpful. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have a question, leave it in the comment section because who knows, maybe we'll answer that question in another video. Thanks for watching.